Now that we've looked very carefully at the backdrop, the European, the English backdrop of early American history, let's talk about what motivated those people to cross the Atlantic Ocean and attempt to settle, to colonize in parts of America. Let's start with Virginia. What was it that made the uh, first colonists who came to Virginia interested in a settlement there? Well, we've gone over this a little bit before. The expansion of the empire. That's one of the main themes that the, the monarchs have in mind. We want more land. Land means power. Land means resources. So expanding the, the empire, having military outposts all around the world, very important. And there's still a desire to find this Northwest Passage, this little trip that's going to get us to China in no time. That, that's going to continue all the way up through the voyages of Lewis and Clark 200 years later. Lewis and Clark's still looking for the Northwest Passage. Of course, the main motive, find gold. The Spanish have found so much gold. They've brought so much gold from Mexico to, uh, to Spain. The English want to get into this thing. Maybe there's some more gold to be found. The missionary efforts. There's some very sincere people who want to convert uh, the native peoples to Christianity. Their salvation is, importantly, it is important to them. And then uh, we want to return England to its, its uh, status of great fortune. And if we could settle uh, a colony in America, that will perhaps begin that process. Now, the people in Virginia had different motives than the people in New England. The people in Virginia came largely for political purposes, for economic purposes. The people who came to New England, which is north of Virginia, on the East Coast, were these Puritan types, these very religious people. And they came largely as a result of their uh, disagreements with the kings, with not only King James, but more importantly, King Charles. Remember, some of the Puritans fought Charles over in England. They fought a civil war against him. But those who didn't want to fight him ran away from him. So you had Oliver Cromwell staying back and fighting King Charles, and you had John Winthrop leading a major exodus of Puritans out of England to New England. And they believed that in New England, these Puritans could establish a wonderful uh, promised land a religious place where the Bible would reign supreme. And there they could continue their efforts to convert the native peoples. They felt called to evangelism, and they had this wonderful uh, evangelistic field available to them with the natives who lived here. And then it was their desire to stay there in New England for all perpetuity. You know, the people who came to Virginia, a lot of them felt like, I'm going to go over there and get some gold, get real rich, and then go back to England where I live. But the Puritans really didn't have that sense. They were trying to establish a promised land, a new Jerusalem uh, in New England. So that's uh, the different motivations between perhaps what you would call the, the southern settlers in Virginia and the northern settlers uh, in New England in terms of what motivated, motivated them. Virginia motivated politically and economically, New England motivated religiously uh, by and large.